Alright guys, Mr. Pruny here and welcome to a online battle I had on Napoleon Total War. And it's actually against a friend of mine, so cheers Dan if you're watching this. Um, but um, yeah, basically I'm the Austrians, as you can see. And he is the British. And we're just deploying our armies right now. And this is on the Lodi map, I believe. Um, yeah, sorry for not uploading. I haven't uploaded for a couple of weeks now. But, um, yeah, basically I'm just uploading this. It's actually quite an old battle, but I'm uploading this just to literally put some content on my channel. Um, I've had a bit of number of issues, like basically I've had issues with Steam amongst other things and I've also had a work experience placement which meant I've been working 9 to 5 every weekday so I haven't really had a chance to make videos but um, I've got four weeks off now so I should be uploading fairly regularly and I'm also going to start a new campaign, but you will see very soon what that is. Anyways, yeah, we're still deploying. And you can see this map here is based around this town area here. It's really going to be a battle for that town. And this river crossing here is going to be pretty key to who wins the battle. So yeah, I think I'm about done with my deployment. Um, I should probably run through my army actually. I've got a... Uh, I think it's two units of Jaegers. I've got the Jaegers and Grenzes that are hid hidden here. I wanted to make sure I could defend this crossing here. That's why I put them there. And I'm still moving my troops here. But there's a, another, there's a unit of Lands Schutzen, which are a skirmish unit and they've got very good range. I think it's 125. Um, I've got lots of German and Hungarian fusiliers here. I'm not sure how many I've got exactly. I think it's about four of each. I count four Germans, not five. Five German fusiliers and about two Hungarian fusilier units, I think like this. And we've both finished deploying right now, as you can see. Um, here's my Dragoons unit, and I also deployed some cavalry up on this mound, which was actually pretty, it was a pretty poor error. Well, it wasn't really an error, it just didn't really, it's not going to have an impact on the game, because I can't really use them on this side at all. And you see, my opponent, Dan, is going to fire. of artillery and that artillery comes in the form of three rocket batteries and they are very devastating especially on this map and I probably should have brought some artillery on this map because we are going to be fairly because we're going to be battling in a town area it'd be really nice to have a howitzer or something or like Dan has like my friends, he's got rockets um, Anyways, he's got some Highland Foot. He's got quite a few Highland Foot, actually. He's got one unit there, another unit here. So that's two. This building has fallen Three. to the enemy! And he's taking a improved building there, as you saw. Um, there's a Black Watch unit there, which is very elite. And another unit of Highland Foot there. So, yeah, his, his infantry arm is heavily upgraded. So, the rocket's going off there. It's quite epic sight to be honest. You see three batteries here they are. Here's his general staff and he's got a couple of units of Dragoons I think they are. They're Dragoon Guards. Oh, he's got Dragoon Guards and Lifeguards. So yes, he's just moving forward like I am. So I've got the infantry edge but he's definitely got an advantage. He's got a good artillery component and they're hammering my troops right now. I really can't do much about this right now, except for advance. This guy's getting battered. This unit's already down to 97 men. I want to be careful with my general here, because he could get a battering. Be careful. So I'm taking shots all over the 
shop right now. These units are still like, fairly healthy. You see, yeah, all the way This here. building has fallen to the enemy! And... Uh, he's taking another... He's taking this town hall right here. And that's going to be pretty hard to... It's going to be pretty hard to take him out if, he, if he's defending this stronghold. See, like, defending this point here is very hard for me to actually get around it without some sort of maneuver, maneuverment from myself. So anyways, he's advancing his troops forward. He's got the Black Watch there. He's advancing the rest of his troops as well. He's brought his cavalry over here. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just advancing through the buildings really right now. Just trying to avoid, if I can, any of the fire. It's very tough. The general's taken a hit. He's down to ten men. So, yeah, I think he tried to target my general there. Which is a pretty smart move, actually. Because generals are very, very important in the So, yeah, we'll just observe my troops getting in. You see, I've brought my. I think it's Lanza My Lanza Schutzen. I brought them up into range of this unit of Highland Foot, I think it is. Yeah, Highland Foot. So I managed to kill a few of them. Not many. I'm certainly on the back foot right now. I've certainly taken the most casualties out of the two of us. And you see, I've still got these two units here poised. They're hidden in this long grass right here. They're looking to make a crossing or wait to see if he does a crossing. Basically, I'm waiting to see... Basically, I want the, him to be committed to this side before I either move these guys across or I launch an attack on this flank. So, I'm going to send some Highland Foot up to threaten my and shoot him. Oh no, the Black Watch, sorry. And those are very elite infantry units. I've got this unit here of Lance Schutzen. Uh, so I've got two units of Lance Schutzen. Right, there we are. Yes, I think they're coming now. Artillery. I'm going to bring my another unit of German Fusiliers now up to threaten this unit of Black Watch. Because I, I, I realise that they're kind of isolated, aren't they? So I wanted to see if I could take them out early. It would be a really, really good score for myself. But, um... Yeah. So I've got three units on one here. So I'm hoping to take them out. Alright, so I'm going to take a pounding for their efforts. So... This unit here is... Down to 89 men. So, slowly but surely picking away at them. Um, and you see here, I brought my cavalry that was on my left flank. I'm bringing them over to my right flank. You see, I, this, is, this is it's about the time where I realised I really need to take those rockets out. Because <laughs> I'm going to get pounded to death. Otherwise. So yeah, I'm about to launch a cavalry attack. See, my opponent took his black watch back. Um, realised the danger they were in, so I wasn't able to take them out, which was a bit, a bit frustrating for myself. I had committed quite a few troops, to be honest. You see, I'm marching my fusiliers across, trying to push forward. And he's actually abandoned this town hall right now. He's moving some troops across. He's going to try and launch a big attack on my right flank. I think that's what he's going to do. See the rockets are still pounding away at my troops. I think he realised at this point I was going to try and launch an attack on the right flank. Either to try and take on his infantry body or to try and take out his rockets. So that's why he's trying to target these cavalry with his rockets. 
Which is actually a good thing for me, because I... Um, I want to keep my infantry fresh compared... To, I'd rather have more infantry than cavalry. Simply because... I'd rather have a bigger infantry. I'd rather have more fresh infantry units than fresh cavalry units, if that makes sense. Anyways, he's repopulated this building with a unit of Highland Foot. And they are shooting my fusiliers and I bring them back, which is kind of kind of a stupid mistake on my part. I mean I let him move them to be very isolated. guys are close to uh, these lands of shoots and they're very brave, very brave, they're still here. Well, they're nearly down, they're down to the final few shots I think actually. So, I think I'm bringing my general up, I think that's what I did. Yes, there he is. I brought my general up to behind this house here and it's, he's protected and he can lend morale support to uh, my troops. And I think I'm just going to turn the sound now. Just because I think it's quite overpowering. There we go. Yeah, we're still playing. Good. Um, so we're trading some shots here. You see over here, I just missed this, but basically he launched some cavalry and I managed to spring my trap. <coughs> and I also assisted my troops, my Jaegers, and my land, I think it's, was it, Grenziers, with my Dragoons that were in the centre. So I managed to wipe out his cavalry there, which was very important. I think it was one unit of cavalry. One or two units. Two units. Yeah, two units. So, I think he's got another unit of cavalry, maybe? I can't remember. He's got his general here. But he's still got his... It allows me to row his running. right flank with my cavalry, as you'll soon see. Anyways, we've lost the unit of Lancet Shootings in here, and they are not going to come back, I believe. I think that's... Yeah, anyways. I wasn't sure if he has... Sorry, he's got four units of rocket troops. Wow, I thought he only had three. That's quite a lot. And they're going to have a lot of success targeting that big mass of troops there who are successful from their ambush of the British cavalry. Anyways, I'm going to advance across now, because this ridge here is unprotected. Uh, and these guys are going to take some fire still. In fact, I'm sure he's, he's firing my other troops. It's a pretty juicy target as well. These guys, down to 81, 103, 92. So yeah, we're struggling. Well, we're not struggling, but we're getting a bit depleted. Those rockets certainly earned their worth so far in this battle, that's for sure. Anyways, I'm advancing with my skirmishes over here, and also my cavalry. Because I realise, hey, I really need to take out that, those rocket troops. So you'll see I'll try and make a dash for them. And my opponent realises that I'm trying to threaten him, so he's bringing well, across some troops to try and take on my uh, uh, cavalry which consists of Ulans and Dragoons uh, he's got a unit of Hullum foot over here so as much, much, as much my ambush was successful in taking his cavalry out he's still got a very strong infantry arm certainly very capable of taking me out so I tried to <laughs> be sneaky here. I tried to ev evade his fire right here. 
so I'm trying to swing round all the way up here and then round to get his rockets. <laughs> Which I found quite funny. Don't know why I find that so funny. What else? Anyways, his rocket troops are still firing at me. I mean, there's no end to them just yet. I've got a unit of dragoons here. Which I probably should have taken across with me, actually. Now I come to think of it, but... Oh well. Anyways, I'm going to try and charge here. With my... Ulans, I think it is. Yeah, Ulans. These Dragoons are going to... Try and support, if they can. But finally I managed to engage these rocket troops here. And... My troops are very... Very unhappy, but not loving this. See their morale is low. Elsewhere, I've brought up most of my infantry. And yeah, basically, it's a fierce battle here with the rocket troops. And. I've actually managed to route one of his units, and another one is following right here. So, Our men are running and for then his Highland Foot there managed to see off my Ulans, who were very depleted, by the way. They're down to seven men there. And I'm trying to bring in my Dragoons to take out his final two units. But he's. Is that his general? No, it's his rocket troops. I thought it was his general. He's bringing back his general there, right there. Anyways, yeah, there's lots of different battles going on right now. You see here, I'm attacking his Highland Foot with my skirmishers, with my superior range. So, I'm getting some good shots on them. They're down to 83 men right now. We'll just focus on this battle over here. It's quite important. Uh, you see, I managed to route a unit. No, sorry, I didn't manage to write any more units here. He's brought his general in. All men are he manages to kill my Dragoon unit. So he's still got two units of rocket troops left. Over here, I'm trying to shoot down these Highland Foot, and I managed to route them with my skirmishers. So that was a big result for me. I managed to see them off. I was surprised that they ran with 60 men left. I was quite surprised, actually. It's I thought Highland were a bit more steely than that. Anyways, I've got my inventory still. Still got a fair amount. And whilst he, whilst I've been engaging his rocket troops, I managed to advance most of my troops up towards the bridge. And I'm about to make an assault, I think. I believe I'm going to try and assault his centre. from the battle against my cavalry. You see I'm going to try and send some fusiliers around to support my right. And I'm still taking fire from the two remaining rocket troops. Nasty. 71 men and 21 men, so things aren't really looking good for me right now. I'm I didn't manage to take out his unit of, uh, but all of his units of rocket troops. So my opponent is, I'd say, winning right now. Maybe slightly, but he's still winning. I, I think. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. And my lance shoots in are out of ammunition. I believe. So they're pretty much useless. And also, whilst my units are pretty depleted, well, most, quite a few of them are, they're around 100 men, most of my opponent Dan's units are pretty much full strength, like his Highland Foot. Anyways, I've brought that unit of German Fusiliers up to support my skirmishers on my right flank. And I'm also sending a unit of Hungarian Fusiliers through the centre to stand right here so I can get some good 
flanking fire on people that are near the ridge. Or near the bridge, sorry. Right. I'm sending another unit of Hungarian Fusiliers around to support my right flank. And you see I make myself a very nice juicy target right there, so... Dan's gonna shoot me with his troops. Um, this unit of Lanzerschutzen is pretty much useless, so they're gonna walk around and do not much for the rest of the battle, I don't think. So, here we are. We are fighting the. It's the Hyde of here. Foot, and we've brought up our Hungarian Fusiliers to get some other shots on Hunford. See here, we're taking quite a fast one right now. That was quite a good shot right there. So Grenzes are down to 72 men and the Jaegers are 32 men, so they're really struggling. So we're, we're, we're going to press on, try and from both sides. Got a general here still, trying to hide behind here. He's getting protected by some general prisoners. And here's a big battle right here. We get some good shots on this Black Watch. So they're down to 51 men because of our superior range, and we've actually got more troops right now. So, we're trying to launch a major attack on the right. This unit is going in slow-mo for some reason. Our men are running for and you see, we've lost a unit, I think it's the Jaegers, yeah, they were depleted and quite exhausted and they're running from the Highland Foot Charge, which of course I would, it's pretty scary. Oh, they took a battering from their own artillery right there. But yeah, I've done for anything. Scott wearing a kill. And we've also lost our German Fusiliers, who are pretty cowardly. We had half the unit remaining still, but they were See how Grenz is. I, decided, I tried to sh focus him, their shots on the general right here. So our right flank is crumbling. I'm trying to, desperately trying to support it. Sending in my Dragoons. It's too late though to save the Grenzes. But they're fighting stoutly, fighting very well. You see, they're trying, I specifically aimed for the general right here, and um, I'm just praying that I can take him out. And you see my unit of Hungarian prisoners fighting with Black Watch. So yeah, big fight right here. These Grenz is doing really well to hold out. But it looks like they're about to break. We have killed their generals. But just as they're about to break, I managed to kill their general with them, which is a huge point in this battle. And I also managed to rout a u that unit of Highland, f uh, sorry, the Black Watch with my Hope Fusiliers, so I can bring them up to support this fight. And the Grenz is still holding, which I think is incredible. They pretty much. They pretty much turned the tide in this battle, to be honest. They finally break, but they've done, they've done superbly. they killed so many Brits right there. And I'm charging with my Fusiliers, trying to charge down the fighting foot. Elsewhere, I brought some troops up, and I've charged. These guys are demoralised slightly because of their loss of their general. So, that is a very big factor. Our men are running, sir. However, we did lose one of our troops. I think we're the green bar. Yeah. We're the green bar. 
you see here I've nearly routed their whole unit. I've nearly routed all the forces on my right flank. But of course we haven't really got much troops left to support our middle. I finally route the last of the general staff. Um, the Grenziers are running, but they 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 did admirably, so I can't fault them for that. So we're sending forward our troops through the centre right here to basically it's a battle for this building right here. And these Highland Foot are about to get keen for experience. The Uh, I've also sh I also sent my dragoons up. That last unit of dragoons, I sent them up to take out the last of the rocket troops. So um, yeah, that was a, that was a good roll in my favour. So basically, this battle is pretty much done. Actually, um, I think it's down to I think this is the last unit. Oh, and this unit rallies, I think. But yeah, it's pretty much over. I find, it, I, find it, I find this part quite funny though. Um, I remember at this what, in the battle, me and my friend were just jo joking, and my guys were sh started shooting each other in celebration. Well, they're shooting each other. What the hell is going on? We'll see in a minute. At least, at least like, my, my guys are fighting for like, some reason. It's a kind of crazy celebration. And that unit's good. But yeah, these kind of foot are really holding up well. Of course, they aren't going to win, but yeah. And this unit right here. It's like a unit of 41 Highland Foot. By now, we all knew that that was over pretty much, so... Yeah. These guys are going to take a painful experience from behind. It's not going to get anything from behind, so... Ooh. Oh! Oh, I've got to destroy that one. So yeah, these Highland Foot, I can't fault them, they fought really bravely. Down to pretty much the last man, to be honest. Well, not quite. Nearly. See, yeah, here. Just randomly shoot each other. <laughs> just stop shooting each other. This is it, it just... Look, like... I think I'll actually route one of my own units. Yeah, there. <laughs> What the hell is going on? It's just some crazy Austrian celebration. If I've got any Austrian viewers, I'd, I'd like to ask you: Is that is this a regular occurrence? I mean, do you, I, I, I hope I hope not. I mean, it's kind of scary. They're still shooting each other. And then, of course, we realize we were like, why is it why isn't the battle finished yet? And then we realized that this unit had rallied. Um, so. I'm just going to send my troops up. Yeah, he, this is it's pretty much it, obviously, but of course, we'll just finish off to the last man. Can't let the Highland Foot retreat. I mean, that's just not in their nature. So they're going to advance forward. Come on! Come on! Yes, come on indeed. I mean, yes, sir. These guys are fire. going to fire. I believe you're advancing. Guys are going to run forward. Yes, sir. This is heroic. This is going to be heroic. Fire. Look how heroic this is. They're gonna, they're gonna rough my guys up. It's gonna be, 
Yes, sir. It's, it's a huge, huge last stand, Moving trust down. me. Break oh, your damn. No, they, they routed before we engaged, so... Oh, no. Right, yeah, that's the end of the battle, guys. Um, yeah, here we are. Here's the battle results screen, and... Um, I actually lost more men than I killed, so... Uh, that was quite bad, but that was mainly down to those rockets, which were pretty devastating. And there's the unit statistics, if you want to have a look at that. Sorry if I scrolled through that too quickly, but yeah, it was. Um, cheers, Dan, for this battle. <laughs> sorry I had to upload it. I mean, I, I'm lacking content, so sorry. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I'll see you guys in the next video.